An agreement that will usher in a new rice variety in the country was this week reached at uh, between the Korean Program on International Agriculture and the National Agricultural Research Organization. The firm trails uh, to validate the new technologies of growing Kafasi 39 and improved high yielding aromatic, uh, aromatic rice from Korea are in the final stages before its inception early next year. Ugandan rice farmers are expected to embrace a new improved high yielding aromatic rice variety from the Korean Republic now at final stages of trials. We actually thought we would release it uh, this month but it was deferred to January of next year so uh, this we think is going to be a flagship variety for the next phase of the project. Kafasi 39, which is an irrigated ecology variety, is expected to replace local varieties to meet a high yield and consumption rate of rice in the country. So many we have now better varieties for irrigated ecology, which will replace all these kinds of varieties with a nine variety. So that's the advantage. Ugandan rice farmers are however expected to get new skills on how to handle the new variety for better outputs. Also this project helps us to transfer knowledge and technologies from South Korea that has grown rice and you can see their productivity is high at about 8 tons per hectare compared to ours which is about 2.5 the aspect of water for irrigation was emphasized for better outputs during a joint stakeholder meeting held by Kopia in Kampala. Today as we talk about aromatic rice, it's mainly produced in the lowland areas, in the slums. But today we understand farmers being moved away from the production areas, we are talking about aspects of water and then irrigation is it going to work at along those lines. This follows a memorandum of understanding that was signed between Korean Program on International Agriculture and National Agriculture Research Organization. It is much larger in rice cultivation area and the farmers and the rice consumption is growing rapidly. We look forward to hearing good news in the future. And the rice technology development of the project will be completed this year and it will be extended to farmers demonstration project over the next step from next year. A three-year project is to be implemented by National Agriculture Research Organization, supported by the Korean government through Korean Program on International Agriculture. Joseph Oko, UBC.